Hello everyone, Professor Dolly Strawberry here with part two of MMD Animation 101. Yay! This uh, lesson will be about interpolation curve, this thing down here. Woo! Okay, so there are several types of interpolation curve, and as you can see here, I just have Mako lifting her arm up, which is pretty interesting. <laughs> um, this is the um, what it kind of looks like right now, but I'll get to that in a second. Um, just to let you know what the interpolation does, it makes your animation smoother and more realistic and better to look at. So the frames that are affected by the interpolation curve are, of course, the beginning to the end of the frame or the keyframe. So basically, three's affected, eight's affected, eleven's affected, all the way up to thirteen. So between 0 and 13, the frames are affected by the interpolation curve. Now, the y-axis represents the frame, which is the up and down, represents the frame that will be shown, while the x-axis, which is the horizontal, represents the time it'll take to reach that frame. So, for example, um, you see this is the straight curve. It has nothing. It's just the linear curve, which is very basic, and no one uses it. The next curves I'm going to show you is called the slow fast curve, which looks something like this. A little something like that, just a little bit. And it's the slow to fast, so as you see, it starts slow and then goes fast. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And this is another uh, slow to fast, so it's kind of like something like this. You see, this is slow and then fast again. See, it starts slow and then goes fast. The next curves are the fast slow curves, so they look something like this. Oops, come here. Something like this. So you see, it goes fast and then slow at the end. It starts fast, goes slow. It looks something like this. Too. Oops, this too. So you see, fast slow. Nope, that is not right. That went very slow. Hold on. See, it just goes fast and then slow at the end. The next one is the basic smooth motion. It looks like an S. It's the most common one used, and it's the most realistic one used. Um, you could basically play around with it, make it look like that a little bit. And there's the natural motion, which basically looks something like this. So the X at the top is more for towards the uh, the left and the bottom X is also more towards the left so it looks something like this it still kind of looks like the S curve but not a whole lot it looks a little more natural and that's pretty much with the uh, interpolation curve just play around with it until you get something you like which I'm gonna test this out real quick and I actually like that a little bit so like I said just just play around with it until you get the kind of um, movement you want. So yeah, that's pretty much it for part two. Uh, wow, we didn't really cover much in part two like I had planned. Well, I didn't really plan to cover much in part two, but you know what? Yay! So yeah, part two three will be about making your animation more realistic, making her breathe, sway, and such like that. So yeah, um, talk to you all soon. Bye!